virtualization in Blazor makes rendering long lists easy. In .NET 7, there's been a small but significant upgrade to the virtualization component. Let's see it in action in this 10 minute training video. Now for most of my training, I work to give an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into first, the website. So this is the suggestion site that I offer that if you ever want to see a video created by me, add it to the suggestion site and hopefully enough people will upvote it. I'll see it and I'll say, yeah, that sounds good. And I'll create a, a, a video off it. Don't worry. Just because yours is not the most popular doesn't mean it won't get picked. I do pick even uh, less popular things if I deem them significant. Now, the reason I'm showing this is not just because I want to show you the suggestion site. This site uses virtualization. And so if you notice, there are 424 suggestions currently, of which about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six show on the page at any given time. So this is a long list. You notice the scroll bar over here has a, you know, is very, very tiny because it's got so many to scroll through. However, when I scroll through it, it scrolls very, very easily. I can scroll all the way to the bottom. Now, this is using virtualization in Blazor. So this site runs on Blazor server and it uses virtualization to make this list rendering efficient and very, very fast. Now, if we open up the developer tools, let's um, open dev tools and we'll pop this into, uh, open another window. Let's, um, let's pop them down below. Actually, let's move them, let's move them to the side. Um, I'm trying to show you both of these things at the same time and it gets a little tricky sometimes. So let's go up here and inspect um, this section right here. And if we notice it's inside of this div class, let's zoom in here on this a bit. And if we expand this out, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of divs that say suggestion entry. Then there's this div at the top that says style equals, and it's got an inline style of a height. And I did not put this on my page. This is something that Blazor server added because everything inside of this class is a virtualized element. So this is basically a for each loop over all of these, but it's virtualized. So what it does is it puts a div at the top with a height that starts at zero. In the very bottom, we have another div right here with a height of 64,019.926 pixels. And what that does, it allows this bar to render properly with the proper size. But as we change, let's go back to the top and watch this one that starts off at zero height. As I scroll down, you'll start noticing that now the height has changed because you scroll down far enough that it goes, oh, you know what? We're going to basically forget those above and kind of remove them from memory and put new ones in memory so that we always have only a limited number of elements in memory. All right. So that way it can be the most efficient possible. So that's how virtualization works. It needs these divs at the top and at the bottom. And these divs are added automatically. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, just so you know, now the height at the bottom is zero. We should know nothing below it. And above it, we have the entire 64,019 pixels. So that's how virtualization works. It puts two divs in your overall section and it puts heights on each of them in order to control that scroll bar's height. So that's how virtualization works when you can put divs inside of your virtualization element. But what if you can't? And that's what this video is going to cover. So we have here a basic Blazor server in .NET 7. I'll run this just so you can see it. And what this is, it's just the, the basic template with information. So there's in the weather forecast, there's five elements in the weather forecast. But what if we wanted to have 50,000? So let's add, uh, let's add 5,000 for now, because 5,000 is still very, very significant in terms of the size of the list. And I have over here my memory, just so you can kind of see, it's running around 176 megabytes. Don't get too caught up with the memory when you're in debugging mode because debugging mode holds on to memory and is less efficient in order to be more efficient at debugging. So just be careful you don't get caught up on that. 
But watch when I hit the fetch data. This starts to spike and it goes into 197. And it takes a little bit in order to load that page. So they go back over to home and walk, click again and clicking. And now it loads. And again, my memory spiked. So that's with just 5,000 records. Imagine if we decide we wanted to go to 50,000 records. And I've, I hear this from a lot of people. I need to show 50,000 records on the screen. Well, do you really, first of all? Because who's actually scrolling through 50,000 records? But let's just say you do decide to do that. Well, if we ran this, it would be very, very slow. It would take a while. It would run, but it'd be very, very slow. So let's fix that with some virtualization. So here we have where these elements are on the page and it's just a for each and it's in a table. The problem is that inside of a T body, the only thing it accepts is uh, legally accepts on the page is a TR. So therefore you cannot add a div, which is what Microsoft does with a virtualization element. So instead, we need something different. Well, they allowed, they gave us a new feature. This is the .NET 7 feature. So if we were to say virtualize, and I want to say on items equals, and that's our forecasts, and then the, um, the context would be forecast. Okay, so what this does is right now it's saying, okay, basically a for each, for each forecast, for each one of those, we'll call it forecast as the answer. That's what they did here. Um, but we're going to virtualize this, which means only show basically was on the page. Now, just so you, we add this to your knowledge, we do have an overscan count. Let's put this equal to 50 since they're very small rows. Overscan count means, hey, I'm going to render 50 more than what's on the page. That way, when you scroll down, it makes it easier to to see. But there's a new element now, new option here that we can say spacer element. TR. And what that's going to do is that div that normally gets installed at the beginning and the end of your list is now going to be a TR instead. All right. Now it's, it's hidden. It's, you don't actually see, you don't see it. You don't um, interact with it, but this now creates then valid HTML for a page. So with this virtualized component, I can just, let's copy it. I'm going to comment this out and we'll paste this in. So what this is going to do is it's going to do the same thing as a for each, only not display everything all at once. It's just going to display just enough. And again, we have increased to 50,000 records. And we had a little bit of lag time with 5,000 records displaying. Let's go over to the fetch data. And it shows immediately. And notice we're 183 megabits, megabytes. It's better than it was 192, I believe it was. It gets more pronounced with the 50,000. But again, this is 50,000, not 5,000. And it's still lower memory usage than it was at 5,000. And notice if I scroll, I can scroll for days. My memory goes up because it's actually putting more things in memory. But I can keep scrolling. I'm trying to scroll faster. Um, you know, now we're in... 2054, um, March 4th, 2054, there it's getting mild. Um, and now we're 193 megabytes and we're still not anywhere close. I can scroll all the way to the bottom if I want. Um, this is 50,000 records that are easily scrollable through on Blazor using the virtualized component. And if we were to hit the F12 here and open up dev tools and look at our our table here. Let's go to the top of our table. You'll see that in the T body, we have a TR with a height of that many pixels. That's a lot of pixels. Um, but that allows us to see the TR at the top and then the TR at the bottom that have been added instead of a div. And that's because of this new part of the virtualized component which is this right here. Everything else, this still works in .NET 6, but this new, new piece right here is .NET 7 only. So that's, that's the new element in the virtualize item.